what is up everyone the long wait is here um the coc high budget i finally build it test it run it it is perfectly fine good um i'm not at level 95 yet that's actually like the optimal level i would highly recommend but still good enough um i decided to just do this video guide because i do not know if i have time later on and i don't really want to drag anymore since this is like the second week into the leak already all right let's, let's not waste any more anybody else time um i'm pretty sure most of you are like quite farm out and ready to play this view right so um as usual i am going to go through the quick introduction uh, and then uh, i'm going to show you guys the google spreadsheet um showcase the skill tree showcase the skill gems item choices show a little bit of notes and i'm going to give you two gameplays both of her harvest but uh, i'm not going to do t17 because i'm not exactly properly gear i, I would say i'm 90 percent gear but there are still some stuff that are lacking um like my cluster right uh so yeah i'm not going to showcase on a t17 so this version is basically on the occultist some of you might ask what about the assassin yes it is, of course is still playable but you basically reach a ceiling after um, going the high budget where the assassin will not be able to come in terms of damage anymore but the occultist just does it perfectly well okay it just has a lot more damage a lot more area of effect which is very nice for this variant and if you watch me in my last leak i ever mentioned that the way to go for coc now is just to go the armor block uh, full block with the um glancing blows all right and um occultist just fits into this variant very very nicely okay yes we do lack like the mobility and the speed but the area of effect just just uh, mix up for it you can see in a gameplay later i think it's on the second showcase um do watch out for that the first one i actually did a map with like, less area of effect but it's also a good way to show you guys even when i have that mod it is the the the, the area of effect is just still decent okay so um on to the google spreadsheet it's already updated over here okay i'm just listing like the low mid high budget but yeah it's it's all done the pob is here you can just click on this link all the trick links are here already okay so this build is kind of slightly way more expensive than all my previous versions i kind of expected that um so it's about 80 defense okay it can hit a bit higher it can be a bit higher um probably about 90 diff but it's just around there that range okay to play this build nicely so yes trading is here please follow um correctly and uh, if there are steps for crafting you can craft them yourself it is also good for the uh, achievements if those of you have not done it yet right um and the gems is also right here so just a quick note i want to let you guys know one of the the enlightened level 4 gem is actually really expensive like i'm not kidding you it's very very expensive so beware and i will continue to add in the upgrades um here after the video so do watch out for it all right all right pob time so this is the skill tree i'm gonna go with the left side and uh talk about it first so you're gonna put the trail of hope here it's still the same this enhance no it allows us to take glancing blow and divine shield without ever to branch out to them saves a lot of point make sure you have one tattoo over here of the valako shield bearer so that we can cap our block chance you can see right and then we're also going to take sovereignty and uh, reservation efficiency here so that we have enough mana to keep up okay um definitely this is enough mana i will explain why later all right i managed to get our coc frostbolt uh, as an ice nova frostbolt to zero mana cost so awesome right uh moving upwards this is the shield portion where you have arcane guarding now we don't need to take this because our spell block chance is already capped so just take one here and take this and um cluster jewel same as usual you're gonna go for blanketed snow prismatic heart widespread destruction the last one really um i, I will take it as a bonus all right and then uh prismatic heart blanketed snow you're gonna branch out to a crit medium cluster jewel four or five passive it doesn't matter okay it doesn't matter take all of them and then the small cluster jewel will be 
what you want uh, basically is to have 35% increase in fact with a energy shield prefix and the rest is just follow what I showed so one of them requires you to have strength and the other one requires just you to have resistance you can play around the resistance with harvest craft right moving on to the right this is where you're gonna put your militant fate when you buy make sure it does not block the notes that we are taking please 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 like I have Ten thousands of people coming to me after buying their militant fate like hey why is this a different note like hey why is i uh, my my deep thought a different note like it changed or replaced or something why is my heart of ice a different note guys please read my google spreadsheet all right and here i am telling you again please look out for the numbers that is on the militant fate you got to copy and paste it on pob to know whether does it overwrite any of your notes okay so please remember to take them um, correctly and on the next to the right again we have another large cluster jewel um, same cluster jewel actually and this two jewel is going to be our damage um, jewel which is triple quick multi um, cobalt jewel or crimson jewel whatever is fine okay eventually when you have enough money you're going to change this for heart of destruction forbidden flesh and forbidden flame which is really awesome because it gives you even more aoe and it just outscales the damage from these two gems right um move down and then we have the throat seeker this is mandatory with the plus three or crit support gems and the reason why i puff it this way instead of you know usually we just go up like that right now i puff it one more here um yes it takes up one more skill point because we really need this jewel socket right here okay this jewel socket is basically to fulfill our attack speed so that we can hit our effective trigger rate um, please beware, uh, before you buy this jewel, make sure you see what is your attack speed per second first. Okay, so you can see I'm hitting within the range. If it's between 10 to 10, 10 to 10.10 is completely fine. Do not go below that, do not go above that. Okay, strictly do not go above that. Um, chaos inoculation and then uh, your influence. Just take this return in blood as well, go down. Now, this is something very um, new. So, you're going to take this Evasion Energy Shield Mastery, but you have 20% increased maximum energy shield if both equipped rings have an explicit, explicit Evasion modifier. Okay, so this one, we are going to have it for sure, and I'm going to show you later how to actually get them. Um, the rest is literally all the same. Accuracy Master with 50% increase. Accuracy rating at close range and of course your instant leech. Okay, skill gems. Um, for the skill gems, Cyclone Awakens COC. If you have uh, enough currency, just buy a 6 straight away. Right, uh, Ice Nova or Frost Boats. This one, just get it at 2120, okay? It's a bit expensive. I think it's about nearly... I don't know, 8 div or 10 div, somewhere around there. But eventually, if you want to do upgrade, this is by far one of the most important ones because when you drop this you literally drop like 1.5 million damage that is a lot that is really a lot okay inspiration power charge and critical strike increase critical strikes now because we are no longer going to use hatred hatred has changed we are going to use increased critical strikes for now okay no questions asked i have played around this a lot i have tried a lot of various ways if i can take increased critical damage yes okay i can tell you yes you can take increased critical damage here i'm going to show you okay i'm going to press this you can look the damage drop extremely drastically because we are not able to hit our cap uh critical strike chance okay so critical strike chance yeah this this is really one of the important chains because we just no longer have um, hatred and the watcher's eye set up anymore. It, it's really not worth it. Okay, cosmic trigger is still the same. Frostbolt, GMP, and frostbite. Aura on our one of our aura will be a clarity. Okay, and then we're gonna have a mark on heat with assassin's mark. Pretty straightforward right here. So um, be before I go on, whatever quality I put here, right? Uh, I, I will suggest you follow because some of them are really not required for quality and I really don't see a reason why you should play like one or a few devices just for the quality, alright? 
Aura, Vol Discipline, Determination, and Zilotry. This is the problematic one whereby you need Enlightened for. I have tried to find ways to do it. There's no way to play around this. You really need an Enlightened 4 for this portion over here. Okay, just beware. Um, for our second aura, we need Tem Temper Shield, Skater Boards, and Precision. Okay, for the Precision, you can put it at 20, but then you see your hit chance is not going to go up to 100%. So, yep, just get a 21. Uh, movement skill, just Frost Bling and Bone Chill. You use this to go into boss and just spin them, or even rare monsters or unique monsters. Got skill, automation, and molten shell. Um, I guess it's literally that the bread and butter of your baseline defenses, okay? Since we're gonna scale with armor anyway. Okay, next up will be the items. Now, I want you guys to listen very carefully on this because there are a lot of changes, okay? Number one, Cosprey Malays, our bread and butter of this build. You can see the enchantment over there of 40% reduced attribute requirement. Now this item right has always been the best thing you can upgrade in COC. Okay, having this 40% reduced attribute requirement means across every single one of your requirement. That includes gem, that includes um cosplay requirement of like the three I think 200 plus decks and the 300 plus in. So having this right will open up a lot of space in the build to actually find more modifiers that can increase damage, increase survivability and stuff like that. And that's why this particular weapon with this enchantment, it's always very expensive for an upgrade. It's like always, I don't know, 30 to 40 diff. Yeah, it's, it's really that expensive, but because the access, the, there have been some changes to heist this league, the access to Cosprey Malays with the tempering orb um, is actually much doable now. Now again, it's also RNG based, you might need a lot of tempering orb to actually do this, and you might need very little to do this. Um, I got really lucky. I got it in like the seventh try, and I did it in the early, very early stages where my one diff was equals to probably nine tempering up. I think now it's about one equals to four tempering up, so it's like nearly double the price, but still affordable, still affordable. Okay, so please get this. Uh, just spend the temp spam your tempering up until you get forty percent reduced actual requirement. Aegis Aura. Okay, this one. Um, no, <laughs> there's no need for explanation just uh it's just so good because you recover energy shield equals two percent armor when you block okay our armor is 23k i have no idea why it's 23k oh because i'm at level 95 okay so it's actually 30k yeah that's the number that i remember so you're gonna recover a lot of yes if i'm gonna give you the mats right here right 30 oops sorry so thirty thousand times 0 0.02 oops 0 0.02 so every block you are going to recover 600 years that is a lot that is really a lot every single block okay so yeah you can imagine right um helmet crown of the england eye i tried to use a rare helmet and i realized it's not needed for this um this variation of the build so crown of the inward eye is the best it is literally the best okay um, body armor incandescent hot this is one of the reasons why this build is so tanky as well so good like you can just spin without really having to care about anything almost anything okay and um, gloves so our glove is definitely going to be the incursion glove with the uh, increased damage with hits against shield enemies for those of you that do not know how to get this glove um, I've written it in our google sheet so Please, please, please go over and read it. Um, the glove is over here. Okay. So whatever it is, just buy whatever uh, the link I give you. You can use Harvest Benchcraft to change the resistance. And then you can use Eldritch Chaos Orb to try and roll for ES mod on prefix. Please read the notes. Alright. So um, this is your glove. Make sure you have 15% attack speed. Or even if you have 14 or 16, it is fine. You need a tier 1 attack speed. Boots, um, nothing changed, just have the cooldown recovery and tailwind 
you can add on additional view op for this to get a 30 per 29 or 30 percent increased movement speed uh, perfectly fine if you want um emulet is definitely the replicas dragon fang flights because it gives us plus three to level all ice nova gems it just gives so much damage and it also has the reservation efficiency of skills so one second i have no idea why is this eight percent now that i just saw it it should supposed to be in the middle about eight percent yeah okay um next is our rings so our rings right just go for a resistance ring on both you need to get a fractured seven percent increased attack speed so you can craft that how to craft it same it is on my google spreadsheet please scroll down and read it okay read it it's literally the same all right um belt is also craftable by yourself just get a crystal belt with a fractured tier 1 or tier 2 resistance is totally fine and yeah same on is how to craft it is all on my google spreadsheet all right just read it carefully um for the flask it's gonna be slightly different this round so quicksilver we're gonna have our spell damage dish as energy shield i don't have points to put it on the skill tree so we're gonna put it here and then i'm gonna go through the magic flask first all right so granite and silver flask we do not need a diamond flask anymore because our crit is already capped okay our crit is already capped so there really isn't a need for diamond flask it's really pointless so what we're going to do now is we're going to change it to wise oak wise oak is going to give us 35 percent to our elemental resistance like probably you'll be asking me hey scar our LA resistance is already capped why do we still need this there's two reasons one when you are doing um altars from the map you will take player options that actually reduces your resistance by like 45 to 50 percent or even higher okay this is going to be a huge help for you this wise oak because reducing the, the altars basically does not reduce maximum resistance it reduces resistance only so with this flask right you can still hit like at cap resistance okay uh, bottle fate no question asked oh yes uh, there's one more thing so um the other effect about this is during effect damage penetrates resistance of each element with your uncapped element elemental resistance is highest whatever you do please make sure your core resistance is always the highest okay whatever you do okay because otherwise the flask will not work for this okay your core resistance has to be the highest at uncapped value that's why you can see it's plus 48 percent here all right and yep this is literally about it this is literally about it yes there is upgrades for this i have included over here so you can see those with the bracket right is literally upgrade and then when you do upgrade please change your tree as well you can see the upgrade is huge it boosts like 10 percent no it boosts like 10 million dps nearly 10 million dps and that is really a lot okay so i'll just quickly go through our upgrades number one is our aegis aura you're gonna have a corrupted one with five percent chance to block and when you take this you're gonna change this mastery to this one percent critical strike multiplier per 10 maximum energy shield on shield okay um, this is gonna give us a lot of damage and then our crown in one eye you're gonna have plus one to maximum power charges also boost a lot of damage body armor plus two to level of socketed aoe gems okay this is going to give us a huge damage boost also and um the next one will be forbidden flame and forbidden flash like i said and mentioned earlier okay so yes we don't need this diamond flask anymore so yes this is basically the upgrade for now i don't have a mage blood uh variation for now but i will post it okay i will definitely post it because when we're going to use the mage blood probably we won't be using wise oak anymore i am actually guessing i'm just going to use a bismuth flask with something okay i'm not sure i'm not sure but i will look at it because when we are going to use a mage blood our attack speed is going to change because the silver flask is going to have increased effect of Oslo. all right so i will update for the mage blood version but for now this is what you should have and what you should be playing with right for the notes here it is um please 
please use this. Um, these are the mods that you cannot have from your map. So, oh, wait, um, you can remove this. Okay, we can do a knowledge map, 100%. We can do knowledge map, but please do not know, do not do no leech plus no region. Okay, maybe I should just write here. Okay, do not do no leech plus no region. Okay, you are not able to do it. Definitely. All right, and yep, that's about it. Just follow this. I will put in the copy paste, um, copy paste as well. Um, for those of you that would like to know what is it uh, i have it right here already so yeah let me just do it uh, one more thing that i would actually like to add onto the list is actually this okay i just found out recently that it's actually a hindrance to the way because we really need to freeze them and with this mod you literally can't freeze them at all and it gets very dangerous right otherwise what's the purpose of playing a cobio all right so Yep, that's about it. I will leave it for the rest to you guys to explore and see. Right, next up I have for you guys is the gameplay. Okay guys, I'm going to show you one map of a T16 harvest farming um, strat that I am doing. And this is with the Horns Care Awakening. So um, let's just go, okay? Right. So beware it might lag when I'm recording because um, it's always downloading the shader but it should be fine. The lag will only probably happen once when the Eater of World uh, is spot. Yeah, there we go. And this is actually a less AOE. Yes, it's a less AOE map. Okay, if it's a normal AOE map, you can can I imagine like the AoE is really really much uh, bigger okay so um, probably after this after this I will do another map to show you guys I think it, it is fine right yeah pretty sure it's okay to just go for one more map I probably will not I don't know if I will show a T17 or not but um, we'll see how okay we'll see how because I am not like properly geared. Some of my stuff are like on the lower end. So I am not exactly ready to take on the T16. It, like, probably, yes, I can take on T16s, but I'm gonna die quite a bit. So I don't really want to showcase it yet. Okay, we got the. Oh, okay. This AoE is literally like how it should be on a normal basis like if you do not have the less AOE um, what's that? Uh, less AOE modifier on your map so I think this bridge is going to be a very good example of how good it can actually clear like really really good right here look it just clears so well like okay it's a uh, it has a really big AOE oh my god the lag yeah Okay, I think I should stop. It has a really really good AoE right but uh, what this dude is lacking is really speed and that's why it really only shines after you have um, Mage Blood. Okay, it's, it's something that isn't really a choice given. Okay, I'm gonna pop this at like 3 quarter and we'll see how well we do it. Or should I just pop to full? Okay, okay. For the sake of experimenting, I'm going to pop it to full. YOLO, let's go. Okay, this might be difficult. Why is it so laggy? What the heck? Wait, is that a... No. Oh, it's actually fine. Okay. Nope, actually there's one more guy here. Okay, we're done. We are done. Uh, yep. Um, I'm gonna continue clearing the map. Uh, I think we should be done pretty soon. I think more jungle valley to feed my wonderful town people. Right, let's go. Let's go. The view of this jungle valley seems a bit bigger. 
Yeah, honestly right, in all honesty, I kind of like hate the slow movement speed. Okay, but I'm 100% positive it's it's better than, uh, yeah, it's better than on uh, Assassin because of the damage and the hexproof and everything. It just scales so much better. Okay, because if you're on the Assassin, you definitely will not have this kind of damage. Consistently. Alright, let's go back to Harvers, Harvers, Harvers. Where's the Harvers? Oh, yeah, it's there. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, that's pretty nice. Let's just pop. I'm gonna pop all the raids first. Actually, um. Yeah. Let me just pop all of them. Actually, I should pop the blue. Yeah, I, I, I did a big mistake, honestly. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna pop the blue first now. Two, one, pop this. Oh, nice. Yeah. Because the blue is gonna affect all of my... Always pop the one that has the lowest number of um, crop on the map. This is something that I always forget. But okay. Whatever. I will do a build guide on how to actually farm this. Yeah. It's, it's really, it's probably one of like the best. Uh, chill strat now, if you have the currency. Yeah. Definitely. So we got one and we got one. Okay, I'm just gonna take this. Wait. I killed both the blue and I only got one rare on both sides. What the heck? Please die, please die. Look. God, that's scary. Yep, that's really scary. Those slams from the beast, right? Do not underestimate those slams, man. Never underestimate those slams. They are very, very powerful. We have one what the heck man? Seriously? I destroyed two blue and all I got was like either one rare or no rare. Talk about RNG. Nope, I run away first. Okay. I don't even feel like doing the other crop because it's like no rare but uh for the sake of the yellow yeah the yellow the yellow crop on top is going to be so juicy <laughs> let's see how many we get i got one wow please don't meter oh yes that's so good <laughs> guys this is like the ultimate profit really Wait, why did I activate mine? Just look at that man. This phase two? Oh, it already went to phase two, we're done. Just look at that amount of life force. <laughs> Let's just pick it I let me just pick this up first. I don't want to have a horrible ending just in case something happened to the other crop. Yeah, so just let me pick it up first. I wonder how much is this? Should we see? Oh my god, that this plot was ten thousand. <laughs> that plot was ten point seven thousand life force. Uh uh, so nice. Here we go. Alright, amazing. Okay, stage 3. Come down, come down, come down. There, come down. Alright, I'm gonna drop this right here and see how much I pick up for the rest of them. I got a feeling it's also around 10k. Okay, maybe not, maybe 9,000. Oh, it's only 7,000, but hey, <laughs> that's like, 
feels like three uh okay not exactly three days but actually it's about three days like if you include the other two so good man okay i'm going to show another round um exactly the same but this is without the less area effect okay exactly the same harvest i'm not going to do t17 i am trying to level up first to 95 so it's more comfortable and i'm actually waiting for like my cluster jewels before i actually go do them so yeah i'm pretty sure you can do t17 okay i'm pretty sure just that i am not geared up yet for it like if you are pretty geared up then please by all means go i would very much like to do t17 farming on like with ambush as well Alright, so yep, let's see. And honestly, I just, I just love harvest. It's just so chill. Clear everything from your map. Try to get your hands on the altar. Scarab. Oh, as in, sorry, I mean divine orb altar. It's been it's been ages since I actually saw it, but eh, whatever. Oh, we got a Grand Eldritch! I am actually going to take the Grand Eldritch. Yep. Yep, I am definitely going to take the Grand Eldritch because it is consistent. It's definitely going to give me lots of money. Yep, Grand Eldritch is... Like, if you see Grand Eldritch, right, please just, just take it over that, that one coin. Because... At the beginning, if you're gonna take Grand Eldritch, it's going to give you so much more for like the whole entire map. Uh, I'm not gonna take the. And yes, please, for COC players, please do not take the less multiplier per power charge. Okay, you're gonna kill yourself from that. That and um physical damage reduction yeah please do not take those yeah look at the amount of <laughs> look at the amount of grand eldritch equipment so good oh i really can't can't wait to get my hands on the mage blood Got a nice map. Okay, there's a small little space here. Is there anything? Nope. Just gonna breeze through them. Look, man, the power literally the power of COC. If it's like my SRS, definitely no way I can clear that so fast. And yes, now that you actually here, you can see the AOE is big, right? <laughs> the AOE is big, so in uh, it's a give and take, like I say. So we don't really have speed, but we have huge AOE, like really huge, man. Oh. Yeah, just, just look, just look at the amount of Eldritch Echo I'm actually getting from this map. Like, it's just so good. Oh my god, I, I stopped spinning there for like one second. I didn't know what happened. Was I stunned or something? Don't think so though, that's weird. Oh, we got Arcane Strong Box. You want to give me something good? No. Yeah, I, ne I never pump those notes anyway, so. Okay. Oh, there's still some stuff. Harvest time. Why is there still 37 monsters? Uh, it's okay. Let's just get into it. I don't want to waste too much time. Usually, per map. Oh my god, this is a bad harvest. <laughs> this is a bad harvest. Oh my god, there's only three plot and the first one failed. Oh my god, that was pretty scary. What the heck is that? What is this? Hello? 
is not normal sir that was really scary man uh yeah i'm just gonna go with this no choice This is also another reason why sometimes I try to take the the avoid elemental element because I need to freeze them to be safe. Something broke. Oh. Random Baldos puzzle box, not from strong box. But on the floor. One, two, okay, this is a bad harvest. Yep, definitely pretty bad harvest. Well I got a good one last one, so you can't always have good. Right. Yeah, I mean, there will be times where you actually get like 3 plots and it's really bad. <laughs> so, yup, there we go. That's the second gameplay.